So Lifelike is an exhibition about contemporary trompe l'oeil, or artworks which defy expectations and fool the eye. There's over 50 artists in the exhibition, visitors coming through Lifelike, even those who, who don't necessarily have a great deal of familiarity with contemporary art, will really enjoy this exhibition because there's lots of everyday objects. You'll see paper bags and erasers and cardboard boxes, but they'll also move through themes which engage the senses by having large scale, such as Robert Therrien, or very small scale, like Maurizio Catalan. So one of the highlights of Life Life is Keith Edmire's Bremen Town, or actually a detail of Bremen Town. Uh, the, the whole piece is actually a full reconstruction of his parents' home. I mean, what you're looking at is a pretty faithful um, recreation of the kitchen that I grew up in. And then, but I had this, uh, this notion that I wanted it to look pretty much almost like the day that we moved into the house. And then I started working off of um, like family photographs and um, like Sears and JCPenney's catalogs from the era to kind of either identify products, you know, sometimes get sample things. People kind of like somehow are able to connect it to their own memories of some kitchen that they remember, either their own or their parents or their grandparents. Didn't really think about that in the beginning. Visitors have truly enjoyed Life Life because there's lots of surprises, there's lots of opportunities for wonderment. Maurizio Catalan children love that elevator because they can imagine tiny people walking in and out of it. They love the Robert Therrien because it reminds you of when you were a child. They love Roxy Payne's mushrooms because they look so real, so lifelike. People like it because it's things they know in everyday life but slightly different, slightly new, not what they expect.